right off the bat. Is this a title to a Mustang? Hey everybody, Eric from Locker Lunatics. We got a kind of a weird unit today. Well, first of all, let me say, our last locker that we got, the antique locker, was like a week ago. It was 78 degrees and sunny. This is a week out in wonderful Illinois, and it is 24 feels like with snow on the ground. Thank you, Illinois weather. But anyway, we got a 25 by 10 this time, and there was something in here that they won't let me have it, but I'm trying to obtain it. And one of the reasons I bought the unit, because I was working with them before, let me show you what it is. have probably a 19 I would say 70 Mustang in here now the storage facility is kind of weird on this thing they're saying they got to have it hauled off and junk they won't let me buy it but the storage guy just did tell me if I do manage to find the title in this unit technically it would be mine so keep your fingers crossed that we find a title that would be one of the best units ever let's see what we got here now it's very cold so we'll probably take a lot of intermittent breaks on this one I think this is probably well I thought it's gonna be an empty box it is not. There is something in it. Wow, look at that. I don't care. Bear. Oh, is that monster high? Nope, that's, oh, that's OMG. All right. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that in the Mustang unit, to be all honest with you there. We do have some little end tables, it looks like. Oh, that's a chair. It might be a little desk. Get some of these out of the way real quick. Hey, move that picture. Those are chairs. The picture is one of the things that intrigued me on this. I don't know if you can zoom into just one of these, but the actual people who owned the car have pictures of them with the car done nice. So this was a loved car. So we are really hoping to obtain this car. I brought cash with me today. Like I will buy it here on the spot if it just disappears. But no, they gotta get a tow truck and get it. Got a few tools. Those are air. That's air ratchet. Got a Dremel. Now, oh yeah, guys. I paid $110 for this unit. So not a lot of money involved here. And I mean, we see stuff already that will probably pay the bill on that one. Got a little uh, <laughs> perfect condition flat screen TV. This is the kind of stuff here. This is what I was hoping to find. Stuff like this right here. I mean, this is probably a $40 car. And, uh, oh God, right off the bat. Is this a title to a Mustang? Is this a title to a Mustang? 1974 Mustang! This might be mine! Woo! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Holy shit. I might be able to take this car. That is awesome. And it's signed already. It's already been signed over. It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> Unless they steal it from me. So let's see how this goes down. I don't even know. Ah. Uh, uh, personal picture. I don't even. I'm so excited that I might get this car. These are all personal pictures. Personal pictures. I'm <laughs> so excited. I don't even know where to go with this. I, I don't know if we should clean it out or try to go get a trailer real quick. We got some old coins. We got an old, old pocket watch. Well, that's an oldie too. That's an oldie. All right, we got some, some stuff like that. We've got an old harmonica in here. Oh, there's a ring. This unit's just a giver, giver, giver. Let's see this ring. Definitely sterling silver. Oh gosh, guys, I am so, what do we got here? Oh, it's another harmonica. You know, some of these old harmonicas can be worth a lot of money. That's a nice little harmonica. So I'm, oh God. Guys, I'm excited. If, if there's even just a chance, just a chance that I get this car. There's some more coins. Just a chance. I almost can't even think right now. Oh, I can't think straight. I can't think straight. Oh, I can't think straight. So if the tow truck guy shows up now, we might have a fight on our hands. This is a, a basket of new tools. Could this possibly be my new car? Oh, this looks like a 
miscellaneous tools, a bike rack. What do we got in here? We've got oil. We've got a four-way. Oh, just a miscellaneous, a wasp catcher. Fine. No. I'm too excited to almost do this. But hopefully my dreams are not shattered. He did say if I found a title, technically it would be mine. Is that fishing? Ooh, guys. That's all tackle. And it looks like a lot of fishing lures. Lots of lures. All tackle. That could be a good uh, little find. There's nothing here. <laughs> this side's got, and I don't know, some tool. Nope, just some fishing stuff. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that was the title first thing. Some gasoline. If we look over here, you can see we've got fishing poles to go with the tackle, a blender, a buffer, and some kind of a weed sprayer. Get this out of the way. Tidal. We got a title. We got a title. Okay, let's see what's in here. We got, I think, basil. A bunch of spices. Salt. These look like survival spices, if you'd ask me. See how they're all wrapped? I would say that was a survival box. Um, some electronic stuff, some, some connectors, goggles. What are in the goggles? There's the stands for the TV. <laughs> Just miscellaneous parts, pieces, and paint. Jumper cables. Oh, it's like a little jumper box. Okay. Yeah, that, that's good. Those are fun. Shit, 60, 70 bucks. These look like parts probably to the Mustang. Yep, those are uh, steering column. Uh, with the key. This one's got the key. This is probably what's going to go back in there. Okay, this is more electronics. Looks like an alarm system, maybe. Oh, it's a remote start. They were planning some great things with this car. Hopefully, I get to plan great things with this car. Here's the remote start box. The SMID. It is that kind of weather. We got snow today. Car parts. Oh, these are interior car parts. Okay, all Mustang interior car parts. Now they said that they weren't in this unit, but then again, they were able to tell me that this had a V6 in it, which tells me. And this box wasn't on here in the pictures. So they have moved stuff around, but the joke might be on them if I legally own this car now. Okay, this looks like maybe garbage. Maybe something that some car parts came in and, and some garbage. Oh, can you guys see in here? I see lots of tools. The floorboard has a patch in it, but other than that, it's not rusted out. It looks pretty damn good. So we will be grabbing all the tools out of here. I'm sure they go to this kit right here, which what kind is it? It is performance tool. I don't know that, probably cheap, but it is a whole big set. Guys, we do have a bunch of stuff back in here. Pick us up. All right, well, this is an empty box. God, it's a Mustang. Is it mine? That's the question. We got another damn end table. Can you see okay back here or should I bring these out? Okay, she says she can see okay. We have personal pictures, lots of personal pictures. Oh, that's cool. Bunch of arrowheads, Illinois points. Um, we've got DVDs in here. Looks like a bunch of DVDs. Uh, we got a bottle. Trying to see if there's anything like good in here. We got some, some Bibles. Where's that money? Never in those What's Bibles. That? Huh? That's catching on picture. Yeah, I know. It looks like a poker set, but we'll see. We'll see in just a second. This looks like mostly paperwork. Lots of photos, family photos. I'm trying to see if there's anything down here in the bottom for you guys. Ooh, what is that? What is, oh God, I swear to God, look, I felt the handle of this binder and I thought it was the butt of a gun. For a second, I thought I found a gun. That would have been nice. That is nothing new. I'm trying to get underneath this binder. Looks like we got a bunch of uh, CDs probably. Yeah, we got CDs. Seems to be a little tote down in here. I'm trying to get to that. We got some photos. Oh, we got a passport. I don't have to go back to the office. Um, we got the driver's license. Uh, digital camera. Just another digital camera. A couple, couple little digital cameras. That's kind of cool. All right, so there are some goodies hiding down in there. So I guess I'm going to have to sign my name to that title real quick. That way, it's 
Okay, this looks like a couple more little pieces of tools. We've got another big table. A baby car seat. Uh, these look like espresso maker parts. There's probably an espresso maker in here somewhere. No, it's not tools. Barbecue set, maybe? Barbecue set. I'm getting good at calling these. I tell you, you see so many of them. What do we have here? We have Z Model Professional. Yeah, probably an entry level set of clubs, if I had to guess. Yeah, Precision. Still a decent set. Probably whole sets here, 30, 40 bucks. What's in the box? Oh, that's taped. That's a taped box. Survey says probably a car part. Looks like there's a couple mini refrigerators in here. Hate to haul those out, that's gonna suck. Don't wanna scratch my new car. What do we got? Good morning, it's taped up. I don't want nobody getting in this box. Did I get it off? Okay, I'm gonna this up. We're just pulling it apart. I bet this is a Mustang car part. If I had to guess, it's probably, no, that ain't gonna be Mustang. That's a computer part. It, well, it's got a timer. Maybe it was something that he's getting ready to put in the Mustang with digital gauges or something. I don't know, not, that's all that's in here. There's no like instructions or anything like that. Trays, garbage. I got a bag. There might be something in there. There might be something in here. Oh, let's hope it's true that he said I can have the car if I find the title. Wish I had that on tape. Uh, looks like just parts of the backpack, more parts of the backpack. Nothing in there. Don't feel nothing in any of the pockets. See, this is just open. This lid, they've tampered with this unit because this lid was closed in the pictures. And here it is that way. So, yeah, they've been in here. I wonder what was in it. <laughs> They are, there's like nothing in here now. So unless there's something they missed, they've been in it. They were just looking for that title. paper. The Maybe. title was, was right, right there. The <laughs> there's a couple of CD cases in here. A pencil sharpener. Oh, I nicked my hand. Please. And some wires. Custom engravers. All right, what's in here? You know, I'll turn the camera off here in a minute and do some uh, ooh. Nothing short of my everything. Oh, it's just a little pen. That's really neat. It's sad that stuff like this gets, you know, lost in the mix. Because this was somebody's every some, this was somebody's everything. And I'm just wondering, you know, what would cause somebody to not pick up their Mustang? I mean, did this person pass away? We might have to we do have their information now, so we might have to do a quick search and see what happened to them. So, there's that. Here. Oh, just a couple of miscellaneouses. Oh, they had a, they must have had a uh, RC car. What was that? Solid state realistic amplifier and a whole bunch of batteries. So this was just whatever RC car that they had going on. That might have been what was in there. Uh, this is a coat. Looks like we got two mini fridges. Let's spin them around a little bit. Nothing in that one, but it's clean. Nothing in this one, but the bolt is super clean. So those are sellable. This definitely looks like a garbage bag. Yep, that's all trash. The bike, not a whole lot here when it comes to that kind of stuff, but like once it's in, once again, we have the car that could possibly be our car. Possibly, we're not 100%, but it could be our car. And uh, it looks like it's got some, you know, I'll be uh, removing the tools and stuff out of here. Other than that, the car looks pretty clean. I can see it in the trunk. There's nothing in the trunk, it don't look like. Nope, nothing back in the trunk. But it looks pretty clean. So, all right, we're going to start loading, and uh, we'll go from there. So, please like and subscribe. I hope that I get to keep the car. That would be great. And uh, comment in there if you think I should keep the car. It should be mine, right? Definitely. I have the title. But anyway, all right, everybody, we got this locker cleaned up. Here's the Mustang. Now, he did tell me in the office if I find the title, technically that would make it mine because I have the title of the car. And as you remember, basically the first box we looked in, not only did we find the title, but we found a signed open title, which if I put my John Hancock there, that should make this car 100% mine. 
So let's go to the office, see what they have to say. Did we take beauty home today? Or not today, maybe tomorrow. Get late. But anyway, wish me luck. Give me a thumbs up. Keep the fingers crossed. I'll let you know what happened. We were in the office. He said, congratulations, because I've got a Mustang. He said, if I had the title, it's all mine. So I bought a lock. He, he sold me a lock to lock up my Mustang until I can come and get it. It is locked. As you can see, we will be back as soon as we can to get it. Eighth and tenth attempt to call the tow company that took the Mustang out of that unit. Uh, they said it was mine. I just had to come get it, but now they will not return my calls. We'll see what happens. Probably be leaving another message. Probably just another message. Can I help you? Uh, yes, is this McCoy Towing? Yes, it is. Is George available? I apologize. Yes, Matt, can I help you with something? Yes, well, I need to talk. I need to speak with him of a matter of a Mustang that he's got there that I need to pick up. I'm supposed to be talking to him about it. A Mustang? Yes. Is it in our shop here? I do believe so. Uh, a, okay. set, a 1970 Mustang. Can I just leave him a message then? Sure. Let me pull that up. Hang on one second. And your first name? Uh, it's Eric. E R I K. And Eric, what's a good callback number for you? Two one seven. Regarding the 1970 Mustang? Uh, yes, and if you could have him please call me back. I'm supposed to be coming and picking it up, and it's, I'm not getting any callbacks and, and on when to come and get it, and I need to know because time's just kind of getting away from us here. Okay. Is that something that you had serviced in our shop? Or? Uh, no, they had picked it up from a storage locker that I'd won, and then I have the title for it. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> You've okay. heard about that one, huh? <laughs> yeah. I am unfamiliar with that. Okay, I will go ahead and send this over to him, okay? That would be wonderful. Uh, yeah, if he could thank call you. me back, I'd really like to get this ball rolling. Sure, so, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. Uh -huh. You too. Bye-bye. Yet another message. Let's see what happens this time. All right, thank you so much. All right, guys. A little bit windy. I don't know if you hear me very well. The wind is blowing today. This is a follow-up on the Mustang from the Mustang unit. And the guy at the tow truck company, I'm not going to say that they were shady but there was no sun that's what i'm going to say and i won't say any names but they were in Shannon, illinois and uh, it was a good tow truck company they were the real mccoy and the owner yeah, his name might have rhymed with porridge but we don't know who that really is in real life but anyway the tow the, the unit had to pay money to have the car towed off the lot to the tow truck company they were supposed to call me that day to pick it up. They would not call me, they would not return my calls, and they waited and waited and waited to charge me impound fees. On top of that, not only did they charge the unit to get that Mustang out of there, they charged me $280 for the same tow and towed the car 1.5 miles. Is that shady? I don't know. But anyway, long story short, I have about $700 now into the unit and my brand new old classic Mustang. We did get her, guys. This one's going to stay because I like pew pews and I like room rooms. This one will be staying with us for a while. So check her out. She's nice. She's clean. She's not all rusted and rotted out. I mean, does it need work? Oh, yeah. It needs work. But does it need the hard stuff? Oh, no. Look at that. Everything's clean, there's no rust. It doesn't seem to be a lot of body, Bono body fillers in it. it. Now it does have the original four speed with a six cylinder motor. Uh, I'm probably changing that out, giving her more, more power. We got our Mustang. Score one for the home team. If you like this, if you like seeing us get awesome stuff like this, please give us a thumbs up. Please share our videos. Please subscribe and hit that little bell. You'll get notifications when we get more cool stuff. So until next time, thanks for watching Locker Lunatics. I'm Eric, and we'll see you later.